I was looking for the official name of what I'm going to be talking about, and it's the La Vie Verte Toiletry Bag Makeup Organizer Cosmetic Bag Portable Travel Kit Household Pack Bathroom Storage with Hanging Hook. But, but, there's going to be a whole lot of other really cool stuff too. I'll be showing you stuff just briefly though, because this is really a video about this bag, and I want to thank the people at La Vie Verte for sending it to me in PR. It will be interesting to see what I have hidden inside this bag. And also, in a future video coming up soon, I'm going to be telling you what happened when I made my first Glossier order because we couldn't get Glossier in Montreal before. But when I finally got my first order, the box was crushed and there was a hole like someone had torn into it and I believe it was tampered with. So in a future video, I'll tell you what happened when I contacted customer service and I'll show you everything that I got. Can you guys tell that I've been drinking a lot of coffee? Because this is the first day that it's not super hot out. But it's so windy! If you're interested in this bag, I'll have a link below to Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. And also below, I'm going to have a link to coffee. If you want to buy me a coffee, I'd really appreciate it because I haven't had enough coffee. Okay, just one more thing. I need to get this pink bottle out of here. It's burning my eyes. It's so pink. Get out of here. Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Tracy. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the La Vie Verte Travel Makeup Bag. I've been looking for the right travel makeup bag for so long. Right now, I just use Ziploc bags to go on the plane. But this one is nice and strong. You can put so much in it. It's pretty heavy when it's full. And they say on Amazon that it's water resistant. It feels like that type of stuff that's a little bit plasticky. Like, you know, if it got dirty, you could just wipe it with a damp cloth. It has so many little pockets and pouches. A lot of them are transparent so you can find your stuff easily. And there are two side pockets on each side and each one has more little pouches in there. And see, there's one right here just for brushes. Oh, what do you think is in here? And also, it's the perfect size because you can put it standing upright if you're using one of those big suitcases. And if you're using a regular carry-on suitcase, you can just lie it down and fit it in. And what I love the most is it has this little hook thingy so you can hook it up when you get to your hotel or wherever you are and not leave it on the counter where it gets, you know, ugh, wet and you can find all your stuff easily. It even has those little loops in case you want to tie it to the top of your suitcase. But I don't think I would get on a plane with this on top of my suitcase. But when I go away for, you know, an overnight with my husband or a couple of nights with our friends, then we throw everything in the trunk. So then I would probably, but it's nice that you can carry it and use it the way you want. It fits beautifully in any of my suitcases. It's already getting dusty in here because all the windows are open and it's so windy and the dust is like coming inside the house. I know that there have been a lot of storms and uh, I know last night New York really got hit badly. It's getting worse, it's getting kind of scary. And now I have to keep my high fashion look out of the shot. Okay, let's start looking at what I have inside the bag. This is brand new. This is the Wayne Goss Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not going to tell you to buy this palette, but what I'm going to tell you is don't poo-poo and dismiss this palette because of the way it looks. I have been loving this palette. I find it's the best quality eyeshadows that I've ever used, and you can do a lot more with it than you would think. And his Icole pencil too. If you want to hear more about these, go see my last video. And hiding back here, the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Such great quality. I'm glad I got it. I love the copper undertones. And I think as we go into fall, I think it's going to be really nice. Next in here, I decided to try Olaplex 3, 4, 5, and 6. I don't want to say it's expensive, but it has these little bars on them. Yeah, they're expensive, but I got to turn this into this by using some of this, putting in my hair, and then using this, and try to look like a normal person and do it all in a very short amount of time because I'm very lazy, but I'll be talking more about this in future videos. Do you guys remember when I was so happy to get my M Cosmetics Color Drop Serum Blush in the mail and I hated it? Well, I still, I still hate it. <laughs> Maybe one day if I get courageous, I'll try a darker shade and because this one has no pigmentation. It's just a dry, crusty, crackly, ew, in my opinion. Maybe I just got a bad one.
Next, something I hate to film, it's so reflective, is the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. It's for under your eyes. I use it all over my face. Remember when I got the new Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow from Charlotte Tilbury? This one's in Color of Passions. And I, w I liked it at first, but I didn't love it. Now I really love it. And I think it's sold out. It's exclusively on the Charlotte Tilbury website. I think you can only get it if you buy it in a set now. This one has really grown on me. I really love it now. Next, the Makeup Forever Straight and Wavy 122 brush. Oops. I've been using this brush a lot because I've been, see how light and feathery the fibers are? So you can take a blush that's really pigmented and it even if you have really pale skin, it still works. Like see here, this stipple brush, you can see it's the fibers are light and feathery too, but the other one, they're, even they're so light and flimsy I don't know because I don't know what's wrong with me I've been really loving cool tone shimmery blush that I wouldn't have been caught dead in before so now I don't have to look like a clown when I use them and next is the Smith 157 I've really been loving this one too really soft precise I cleaned it for cream bronzer it's so easy to work with for the next thing I got two of the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. The packaging is so nice, and now I know everyone is saying that it kind of looks like Tom Ford. They're, they're hard to open though, but I love the little plastic thing on the top that protects the cream so the powder doesn't get in it. Look how pretty this is. I love it so much. See, again, pink, but I think they're not too shimmery. I haven't tried them yet. I was trying to buy one of these online and it just seemed like they were sold out everywhere and I was really sad and I had given up. But then I walked into our Sephora and there they were and I was like, oh my god! And the sales girl, she didn't look scared, she just looked like she understood and she told me that they got five of each shade. I'm going to have to swatch them for you another time. Oh, this is a little bit too bright, hang on. So I got the shade Do We Know Her on the left, that's a peachy coral. I got She's That Girl on the right and it's a soft pink and I love them and I'm so excited and I'm a crazy person. Okay, let's reel me back in. I'm really loving this bag. It's well made. It's good quality. It's well thought out. You can fit so much stuff in it. It fits well in your suitcase or you can carry it on top of your suitcase and carry it over your shoulder however you want. I did get this for free but if I had known about it I would have purchased it by now. And Below this video, I have links to both Amazon.ca and Amazon.com, so please go check it out if you're interested. Let me know if you are interested. Let me know if you buy the bag and what you think of it. And I have below the link to coffee if you want to buy me a coffee. And I want to tell you that Whiskey and I are finally monetized, so thank you so much for all your support. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! now.